This next video you're about to watch is how to tan a copperhead. This is the easiest way, and out of all the animals, this is probably the easiest one to tan, I think. A friend of mine found it on his front porch. He normally relocates them, but this one, he knew that I would do something with it because I'm not a big fan of wasting things. Whether they're alive or junk, you can generally find some way to repurpose something and make it useful so it's not wasted, you know? He brought it to me. It made it look like I killed it in the video. I didn't. It was already dead when I got it, but you do have to remove the head because they will bite you. I guess clinically they're dead, but uh, the nerves are still active. I've had them strike me with no head. I've had them bite down with a head with no body so and don't freaking get bit because you make some pretty things out of snake huh? smile on somebody's face If you plan on tanning a poisonous snake, make sure to remove the head, preferably after it's dead and somebody's given it to you. If you don't know what you're doing, please be careful. You've got snake gators, there's snake grabbers, use a machete, don't ever get close to it. These things are good for the environment. You don't want to kill them unless you're forced to. Do not try to do one that's frozen. You want to do it fresh. Uh, the frozen will not work. And also, you see right here I'm using a scalpel. What you want to use is scissors. That's a lot easier. You split them from the head all the way down to the, I think it's called the cloaca, which is their butt basically. Then you go back, separate the skin from the muscle up at the neck, and you can see you literally just peel it right off. It's just really simple. Roll it up, just throw it in your refrigerator for a moment if you have to wait, and use the Wasco True Tan Reptile System. It's flawless. I'll post the link to it so you know what to use. Just follow the directions on the bottle. You mix the dry chemical in with the water. You put the skin in there. You wait 24 hours until it gets the snow globe type uh, uh, precipitate in it. And then you pull it out. And I used uh, two pieces of cardboard, push pins, and you stretch it as far as it'll go lengthwise and widthwise. follow the directions you put the oil onto the uh, inside of the skin when you pin it you pin it uh, scale side down and you just keep putting the oil on there about every 12 to 24 hours it's going to depend on your environment where you're at the elevation humidity so on and so forth uh, it, here I think it takes three to four coats depending on what time of year and if you can see the skin looks about the same color as the scales, uh, whereas at the beginning it was almost white. So uh, once you remove it from the cardboard, just take a, a ruler like I'm doing here and uh, make a straight edge out of where you stretched it because you'll be able to stretch it a little bit bigger than what it actually was in real life, uh, which makes it handy if you're going to be uh, creating something out of it. And just so you know, snake skin is so thin, you want to place this on a light colored piece of leather, like white or tan or beige. If you put it on top of a dark piece of leather, it will show through and mute the colors of the skin. 